Oftentimes in countries that have a beautiful countryside or an incredibly scenic and historically important area of wildlife, efforts will be made by the government to preserve this beautiful slice of nature. This is in the hopes of allowing the public at large to enjoy its unaging beauty for centuries to come. They do this by establishing federally protected locations that prevent further developments of any kind that could damage the protected area known as a national park, or a wildlife preserve. Unfortunately, these unbelievably perfect natural sceneries also seem to hold a dark secret. There seems to be a large amount of mystery surrounding national parks, an almost disproportionate amount given any area it's compared to regarding visiting populations of any kind. One of these comes from the Santa Fe National Forest. Going back, officials come forward about the appearance of mysterious wood structures. What's strange is that not only are they tall, but they seem to appear overnight. Most of them are between 6 and 20 feet in height, and after taking some of them down, officials said they were built using over 1,000 pieces of wood. One spokesperson said the wood structures are appearing at an alarming rate, and their frequency have increased over time. The structures had park officials and even police officers baffled to how they were being created. One of these concerns was that these structures posed a huge fire hazard. This is because they've been compared to structures that resemble those they use to build wood fires in the forest. However, these ones are much taller. The worry wasn't so much that whoever was building them was going to create a fire, but the vandals may see them and want to set them on fire. If they were to be lit on fire, the authorities said it would be extremely hard to get them under control. At this moment in time, park officials have no idea who is building the large wood structures, and they can't figure out a motive behind the construction of them. Some have suggested it's just the work of a bored teenager. However, to build them at the rates they're being built, you would need an extremely large group of people. It's now been announced by the Forest Service that anyone caught building these wood structures will be fined $5,000. The structures are being built on federal land, and they're treating it as trespassing. The forest officials have said they're now becoming more common than ever. So my question to you guys is what do you make of these? And who or what do you think is building these structures at such a fast rate? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The Baltic Sea anomaly made headlines around the world when it was first discovered. The anomaly is said to be 60 meters in diameter, and can be found on the sea floor of the northern Baltic Sea. It was discovered by Peter Lindberg, Dennis Asberg and their Swedish Ocean X diving team. The discovery was made in June 2011, and this was while they were searching for an old shipwreck. According to Ocean X, the formation has an appearance of rough granite, and is 3 to 4 meters thick and approximately 60 meters in diameter. The anomaly is also sitting on an 8 to 9 meter tall pillar like feature, and can be found at a depth of 85 to 90 meters. Going back a few weeks ago, the team returned to the site, and while here, they dropped down a remotely operated vehicle. However, when it reached a few meters above the anomaly, the team said the compass went berserk. What's interesting is the first time they went to the anomaly, something similar happened. Peter Lindberg said the following about the event. It was very difficult to understand where the remotely operated vehicle was because of the terrible visibility, and because of the compass that went berserk. The compass was living its own life, and the tether was snagged all the time. As mentioned during one of their previous expeditions, it was reported the divers exploring the anomaly said their equipment stopped working as they approached it. Professional diver Stefan Hoggerborn had this to say, Anything electric out there and the satellite phone as well stopped working when we was above the object. When we got away around 200 meters, it turned on again, and when we got back over the object, it didn't work. The OceanX team reported on their second expedition they found something that looked like a staircase, and a round black hole that went directly into the structure. A few months back the team gave out more information about what they witnessed while near the object. They said the structure has 90 degree angles and that it's unlike anything they've seen before. Something else that confused them is there's a large circular opening on the object. This doesn't look like something that appears in nature and it seems to be out of place. They said that further study is needed, 
but that even if they did get close to it again, they're unsure as to whether they would be able to come to a conclusion. The next thing that stumped them was the stones found on top of the object itself. The divers said they found what appeared to be a circular-like formation. The thing that stood out is that it didn't look like it belonged there. One of the divers who went in for a closer look couldn't understand why they were in that formation. The team acknowledges the object could be a natural formation, such as a meteorite that penetrated the ice during the Ice Age, or an underwater volcano, but they have their doubts and think this could be something entirely different. Jupiter is the largest planet that can be found in our solar system. It has a diameter of around 90,000 miles or 143,000 kilometers. This is over 11 times the diameter of Earth, and has a volume of over 1,300 times that of Earth's. In fact, Jupiter is so large that every other planet in our solar system could fit inside it. Jupiter is a gas giant and this means the majority of its atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen gas and helium gas. The planet is covered in thick clouds and is known for its great red spot. This giant spot is actually a storm that's been spinning for over 350 years. Recent studies however have shown the storm is decreasing in size, and some scientists have said that it could disappear within the next 50 years. It's also known for being a windy planet, having wind speeds reach up to 400 miles per hour. Although Jupiter is perhaps best known for this red spot, it's also known for its colourful storms. Jupiter produces some of the most impressive auroras our solar system has to offer. Going back a few years ago, NASA captured one of Jupiter's most impressive auroras. They are much bigger than Earth's and also produce thousands of times more energy. Another interesting thing about this is Jupiter creates its own auroras. Earth doesn't create its own. Instead, Earth's auroras are created by solar storms. One of the reasons that Jupiter can do this is because of its strong magnetic field. This allows it to grab charged particles from its surroundings. These auroras were first picked up on when the Voyager 1 spacecraft passed by Jupiter in the 1970s. You would think that this would be a rare occurrence, but astronomers said during a 2007 press release that they were so frequent that every time they looked at Jupiter through a telescope they could see the auroras. Currently, we have the technology to search for other exoplanets, and that makes it a lot easier to find other possible Earth-like planets. However, this is easier said than done. There are hundreds of billions of planets in the universe, and trying to find a planet that is Earth-like is no easy task. Currently, we can only search for suns of life that are in the Milky Way galaxy. According to the research that has been published in 2015, Scientists said there were many larger galaxies that might be producing a greater amount of Earth-like planets. At the moment though, the next candidate for colonization will most likely be Mars. Although this planet is close by in terms of the universe, it's still a big leap forward for humans. Researchers know that Homo sapiens is part of a group called hominids. These would have been the earliest human-like creatures, Scientists estimate that we split from primates somewhere between 2.5 and 4 million years ago in Eastern and Southern Africa. One of the first traits that these humanoids showed was that of bipedalism. Where humans came from and our evolution is a subject that's fascinating. The missing link was a way to describe an extinct creature halfway in the evolutionary line between modern human beings and their ancient relatives. This came about when Charles Darwin said that humans descended from existing species of apes. Of course, this theory is wrong and it's now accepted that humans and apes are similar due to a common ancestor. However, there are some people that have different theories, and over the years mysterious discoveries have been made. One of these is in the form of an alleged 100 million year old fossilized finger. For the last 50 years, archaeological discoveries have thrown up some interesting fossils. It's possible that our planet has gone through different stages of development where different species dominated the planet. Many believe that our planet has gone through different events, and that in each event civilization and society developed differently. Some people call this unknown history. Even some scientists have come forward and said that 95% of our history has been lost. 
according to mainstream archaeology and anthropology, the oldest human fossil is around 2.8 million years old. But as mentioned, there have been some discoveries that have challenged this theory. The alleged 100 million year old fossilized finger was discovered in the 1980s and was found embedded inside a Cretaceous limestone formation in Texas. The Cretaceous was a geologic period in system that lasted for over 79 million years. Paleontologists have said that for this finger to fossilize like this it must have been rapidly buried in an oxygen-free environment. The finger was studied by scientists and they found out the fossil had inner structures, and these were arranged in concentric circles. Further studies and x-rays showed the finger revealed bones. Some theorists have suggested the finger belonged to a group of humanoids we are currently not aware of, with some pointing to advanced civilizations. However, mainstream scientists have said that it's very likely the finger belonged to a hominid, but that's the age is likely way off. Over the years, people discover strange things coming out of their taps. The most recent one comes in the form of purple water. Residents from Ohio started to report that when they turned their taps on, pink water came out. Incredibly, this affected all households and businesses in the region, with many wanting an answer for what the substance is. For a short time, it was a complete mystery, and no one had any idea as to what was causing it. However, after a short investigation, it turned out the colour was due to a problem at the water treatment plant. It was reported that large quantities of sodium permanganate leaked into the plant, causing the water to turn this colour. The chemical is used to improve the smell and taste of the water. However, what concerned many people is that whether it was safe to drink. Officials did say it was safe to drink, but as you can imagine not everyone felt entirely comfortable with drinking this, and many compared it to the time drinking water turned black. Going back, officials said that residents in Texas should not be alarmed as the black water coming out of their taps is safe to drink. Not surprising though, residents were angry as they didn't feel like it was safe to drink. It was soon reported by many that black water was coming out of the taps in the bathtubs, sinks and even water going into their washing machines. However, water officials did say there's nothing wrong with the water. They said the black colour comes from having too much iron in it. However, some people didn't buy it. The black water had been an issue for the residents for over a week. Some residents were so frustrated they started to post videos online, saying that they wanted answers for why the water had been like this for so long. Others said they had no choice and had to wash and drink the water. One resident said the following, How can they expect us to drink this stuff? It looks horrible. Never have I seen black water and never have I heard of people drinking black water. This isn't right. One homeowner scooped up some of the leftover water onto a finger and showed what looked to be a brown dark substance. Some residents collected some of the water in a jar, explaining it was not right for the city to expect people to drink this. So my question to you guys is if you saw black or purple water coming out of your taps, would you drink it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.